Hello gorgeous people, what is going on, and welcome back to another video. Today we are jumping back into the analog horror series known as White Stag Education. In this series, we watch educational videos about the Pine Barrens in New Jersey. It starts off very simple with hiking tips or trail safety tips, but things start to get really weird when you learn about the strangers of the forest. If you haven't seen my first video on Pine Barrens, I highly recommend you go watch that one first. The link will be in the description down below. So far, it seems like there's some kind of weird cult or weird group inside the Pine Barrens, and they seem to be responsible for the death of many park goers, and they seem to be worshiping this thing called the Adversary. We don't know any specifics about a lot of this, but today we're going to learn a lot more about the strangers. As always, please be sure to go and support the White Stag Education YouTube channel. The link will be at the top of the description down below. Please Please go and support your analog horror content creators. And all right, guys, enough of me talking. Let's jump right in. Video 5 Grandwood Park Ranger Training. Here we go, baby. White Stag Education. It's been a minute, been like four months or something. Congratulations on being accepted into the Grandwood Park Ranger program. Let's go. You're on your way to fulfilling one of the most important niches in the New Jersey Pine Barrens ecosystem. However, there are still a few more basics you'll need to learn before you head out onto the field. Meet Ranger Craig. He's hey. a new ranger here just like you. He's What's up, eager Craig? to protect and preserve. Oh, but I'm wait, the Craig! Vibes. I have to tell you some things before you begin. Hopefully Craig doesn't die. Please no. Okay, hold up. <laughs> Sub Allah and Jelly. You may now choose to resign and leave the Grandwood Ranger program or continue with your training. If you choose to resign, notify your training supervisor immediately. You cannot resign later. The contents of this tape are highly confidential. This is your final warning. Damn, so you have to either resign now or watch the tapes and whatever the tapes show you after you have to deal with it. All right, I'm in. Sub Allah and Jelly, what does that mean? That logo's fire though. Environmentally sensitive and unsafe areas. Just like any normal park ranger, you'll be given an assigned area to monitor. Okay. Your duty, above all else, is to protect park guests from any and all threats. While on patrol, you will notice trails without correct blazing or proper documentation on your map. And that's very important. These False trails lead to inner Grandwood. False if trails you find lead to a the false trail usually. not yet marked with a red triangle on your master map, take note of its approximate location and report it later. Visitors are prohibited from walking all false trails. If you see a visitor veering onto a false trail, kindly ask them to return to the marked trails. If they refuse to acknowledge the question, do not hesitate to aggress. That's one of the first times we've actually gotten like a good look at one of these strangers or one of these masked people. I'm going to call them strangers just because I feel like that's what they were calling them in the last video. Marker with no correlating mark on your master map. Scrub the blaze off with a sponge and mineral spirits. Then dry it with a clean cloth. This is a false trail. Make sure it is marked accordingly. Tempting sights and sounds. Well, one of the sounds you definitely got to look out for is the whistling. Guests come to Grandwood National Park to experience the best trails the Pine Barrens have to offer. There are many species of birds native to the park making it a hot spot for bird watchers and ornithologists across the globe. Unfortunately, visitors oftentimes fall victim to clever imitation. Strangers are bipedal organisms that live in the park. 
By what? They produce a whistling tone that sounds similar to birdsong. There are two known whistling patterns strangers demonstrate. Wait, so strangers aren't human? A distinct melodic pattern signifies a feeding gambit is underway. A feeding gambit poses no immediate threat to trail abiding visitors, but may lead them into unsafe territory. If you see park guests entranced by the stranger's song, kindly remind them to stay on the marked trails. Investigation of the feeding gambit is unnecessary and not worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. When safe areas become unsafe. Sometimes, your designated area will fall victim to a hunting gambit. A hunting gambit on a marked trail is an uncommon act of desperation, but is still important to prepare for. You'll know a hunting gambit is in progress by the stranger's erratic whistling pattern. This so, whistling is how they communicate. Refer to your handbook for more information regarding how to further decipher stranger whistling patterns. During a hunting gambit, urge all nearby park visitors to close their eyes and run in the direction of your voice toward the start of the trail. Report the active hunting gambit to Grandwood National Park headquarters via your handheld radio. A siren will sound to alert all other park rangers to evacuate their designated areas. If you hear the siren, lead all visitors back to the park entrance where a head count will take place. Once the head count has concluded, all park rangers will be dispatched to search for any unaccounted for visitors and to subdue the active hunting gambit. We're learning a lot in this one. A lot more than usual. Subduing a hunting gambit. Okay. After dispersing, you will return to your designated area to subdue the hunting gambit and search for any unaccounted for visitors. It is unlikely you will recover any bodies. Wow. Strangers will not retreat unless enough sustenance is gathered or a majority of the advancing strangers are subdued. Ooh, you can see one in the back there. Oh, he's got a gun. Oh, I hate that. It's so quiet, too. Strangers hunt in packs, so attempting to flee is futile. When you encounter a stranger, do not hesitate to aggress. Do not cease fire, no matter how human their cries sound. They have surrendered their body to the forest, and you are doing them a service by freeing their soul. Whoa. I did not think we were going to learn so much about these guys so quickly. You Keep your guard up, bro. Should feel no guilt. You should feel no guilt.
Congratulations! This concludes the Grandwood Park Ranger training video. You will now be led to the physical training course, where you will be put to the test. Being a ranger here at Grandwood is a job unlike any other, and we're thrilled to have you on our side. I'm Ranger Dan. And I'm Ranger Luke. Stay safe out there! R.I.P. Ranger Luke. Grandwood Park Ranger Training. Still 30 more seconds. Is it all just credits? We finally got to see Ranger Dan, by the way. I don't. I think that's the first time we've seen him. Dan Sieve or Dan Seve, I believe his name is. So that was a lot. <laughs> I did not expect to actually get that much information in this video. So homo personatus, I think could mean man pretended. I'm looking up what personatus means and it means assumed, pretended or counterfeited. So it's almost like fake human. So I'm not sure if the strangers were human and then turned into something else and then now they consider them strangers or if they were just never human to begin with and these are just entirely new like creatures. I do think there's a chance that the forest may have taken park goers and then maybe they become like entranced by the forest or transformed in some way to become strangers. That seems more likely to me. But these strangers are not considered human at all in any of these videos. We learn that they have two different types of whistling, one that's more melodic which means that it's a feeding gambit and then when it's more like all over the place that means it's a hunting gambit and a hunting gambit is basically when you gotta run you gotta get out of there asap now what's confusing about that is urge all nearby park visitors to close their eyes and run in the direction of your voice why would you have to close your eyes that part seems weird to me they also like referenced that in the puppet video at one point they were like oh we had to close our eyes and run what would you have done if it wasn't a song they were whistling we would have closed our eyes and ran away. And I thought that was a weird detail because they also talk about here, right? If you see park guests entranced by the stranger's song, kindly remind them to stay on the marked trails. That you can become entranced by the song. Maybe you just become totally entranced by them if you even see the strangers. But then I don't understand how the park rangers wouldn't also be under the same effect. Because we see later that Ranger Craig is just He's on the move here hunting down these strangers and he comes in direct contact with one and he seems fine while looking at them. They have surrendered their body to the forest. They have surrendered their body to the forest, which does make me think that strangers maybe just create more strangers. Like maybe the strangers kidnap these park goers, they either become strangers or food to the forest. We have seen in the past videos like these holes that are in the ground this is a very weird concept and i'm happy that we got to learn more about the strangers because we know more about them just in general before they were so mysterious we just knew that they were these masked things that walked around but now we need to know why they do what they do and what's up with the hole truly because i'm kind of just assuming that they're feeding the forest i'm not really sure exactly what's going on with the hole but we need to find out what's going on with the hole and then of course what is going on with the adversary or whatever the big entity is that's behind everything going on in the forest a lot of people said in my last video that they theorized it's the jersey devil because that's like the famous thing in the pine barrens is the jersey devil was always seen and stuff like that but also they do whenever they do bring up the adversary it does kind of look snake like and we did get some snake imagery in this video too which is weird so i'm not even sure if it's the jersey devil anymore or maybe there's more than one creature because the thing that we heard in the christmas eve candlelight video definitely did not sound like some snake type creature that sounded like it could have been the jersey devil I don't know, my thoughts are kind of all over the place on this series right now. I definitely need more white stag videos. I totally understand why these videos might take longer to come out. There's so much detail put into them, into the sound design and the actual effects and videos itself. This really looks elite. It looks so good. And as always, huge shout out to White Stag Education. Please go subscribe to their channel down below. You may watch their videos and find something that I missed. Also. To bring up the elephant in the room, I know I said 10k likes on that last video and I'd go to the Pine Barrens, but when I was doing research on it, the Pine Barrens is huge. It is literally gigantic and I didn't even know where I should go or if I'd find anything really entertaining to record on video. 
Like, I'm not going to find one of these strangers out there. 99% chance I won't find a stranger just in the Pine Barrens. <laughs> but if you guys know any creepy places that I should check out, please let me know in the comments down below. We could still make it happen. I just need to know more of where I should go exactly because the Pine Barrens is so huge and I'd hate to travel all the way down there just to record a very mid video that you guys wouldn't enjoy. Like, I, I want to make sure that you guys enjoy it. So let me know what I should go do down there. But all right, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like on it. Also, be sure to comment any of your thoughts or theories down below as well. And also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to hit 300k before the end of the year. Also, guys, there's only a few days left. If you want one of the Immortal Marcus plushies, the link will be in the description down below. They're only available for a limited time. Only a few days left, so go get them all you can. I appreciate any and all support we get on these little guys. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.